you guys are still out there? Man, I can't believe you're still out there watching this. And you may not be at this point, who knows. I think I'm about at the end of my Peter Stokeby luxury navy flake here. I do like this. My review of navy flake is, it's good. This is one I do enjoy. Anyway, I told uh, Gentleman Jim the other day that I put up a video. You know, everybody's seen my little scruffiness here. I told him I'd put up a little video on a beard grooming oopsie from a newbie. And so, as my beard started to grow, <clears throat> I said, you know, I need to kind of trim it, you know, trim, because it's all growing down here. I want to trim a fairly nice neckline, which I probably need to do again. And I don't really see it with the way this backlight is. I wanted to trim kind of down just a little bit so I don't, you know, have a face full of hair with two eyeballs sticking out, you know, and trim down here. So I lather up, get my brush all lathered up, get my razor out. And here, we'll use this. That's about the width of a razor, maybe. So I'm kind of, you know, trying to be real easy trimming. And I go, oops, pull it away. And I got, and you can probably maybe able to see a little of it. I got a little cut out right there. Shoot, I can't do that anymore. So I go over here, stop. A I didn't do it quite as bad on this side, but I got a little bit of a, about the width of a razor cut out. Okay, stop. Now I got two choices. I can look like a dork while I let this uh, fill out, or I can shave the whole thing. Well, that's obvious. Look like a dork. So I'm trying to let it, and it's still thin over here. And so I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to touch this next time I shave. I'll try to maybe trim here. And uh, I've always on my mustache, I've had my mustache since I was, you know, probably a senior in high school. I've got a, uh, a beard, mustache trimmer, whatever that you can set different depths on it, you know, so you can get it real short, you can do it real long, however. And so I thought, you know what, while I'm letting this grow, let me kind of shorten some of this right in here. That way I'm not super, pipe's gonna fall over, I'm not super bushy here, this little bit of, you know, thin hair right here. And so I take my, my beard trimmer and I set it, and I've never had a beard, ever, and I've never had to trim it before. So I don't know where to set this thing. So I have to set it way out. You know, probably three quarters out to its maximum. And I thought, that's probably not going to trim any, but I'll do it that way. And then I'll come in maybe a notch and do another notch until I finally get where I'm starting to trim. And so I set it about whatever that was. I don't remember. I think it's a number setting. One, two, one through nine or something. I probably set it at seven or something like that. And so I... And... Wait just a minute, and it now I got this racing stripe right here. Uh, well, nothing I can do now except just do the whole thing. So it's actually tremendously shorter than what it was a few days ago. Uh, but it is starting to fill out again, and now I know where not to set my trimmer. So, anyway, there's a beard grooming oopsie from a beard newbie. Uh, Maybe set your trimmer maximum <laughs> before you, and then uh, of course, if you want it to really grow, don't set it at anything. But I was just trying to maybe trim some of this down and let some of this fill out. And it's starting to, but it's still really thin in there. And uh, if you're gonna uh, use a razor, I don't know, I thought maybe, maybe I could lather up and then hold my hand up there or draw a line clear the shaving cream away so I would know where not to trim but take it easy nice and slow you know don't go Rawr! like I did and then I look like a dork for you know two or three weeks while I'm letting it fill out anyway there you go gentlemen Jim that's for you uh, my beard grooming oopsie from a beard newbie talk to y'all later